Christopher, tell me this. <laughs> when you devised the concept for Lego, did you ever in your wildest dreams imagine mm -hmm. it would be this popular? And what do you think has been the reason? Well, that's a good question. I don't know that we ever thought it was going to be this crazy popular, but we thought it, was, it could be kind of fun. I mean, we try to approach it the same way we approach all of our movies, whether we're doing an R-rated comedy like 21 Jump Street or a family movie like the Lego movie. We just try to make each other laugh. We try to do things that we think are fun and interesting. We try to find something interesting to say. And we don't try to talk down to kids or to make it for this focus group or this group or another. We just make it for each other. And it just so happens that our sense of humor is so juvenile that kids <laughs> seem to like it too. And, and Phil, from a logistical and technical point of view, how difficult was it to create animated Lego? Well, it took hundreds of people, like four years to make it, so it was insanely difficult. Um, we hired a lot of really smart people uh, to help out. Uh, Animal Logic in Sydney, we worked with the Lego people in Denmark, uh, we had our crew here in Los Angeles. Um, it, was, it was really complicated. Um, the biggest trick was trying to digitally figure out how to make um, really tactile, homemade looking Lego bricks with scratches and dandruff and fingerprints and stuff like that, because we wanted it to feel like a movie that a kid made in his basement. Let's a really another, expensive I wanna, basement. Yeah, let's watch another clip from the movie, because it is extraordinary the way it's been made. Watch this. Um, I watch a lot of cop shows on TV. Isn't there supposed to also be a... Isn't there supposed to be a good cop? Oh, yes, but we are not done yet. Hi, buddy. I'm your friendly neighborhood police officer. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah, yeah, actually. That's Too bad. bad. It's just fantastic fun. And uh, if you haven't seen it, people should go see it because it brings in, you know, all sorts of life issues, work issues, personal issues. It's a terrific movie. What I like about you two is, is you met in college at Dartmouth. You've directed all these films together. Some of the biggest movies for a long time. Ch uh, meatballs, uh, uh, sequels, all sorts of stuff you've done. Uh, Jump Street's coming out again. And you direct these things together. So there's two friends who were educated together, now working together. Is that hard? Because normally it's just like one director, right? <laughs> we never fight. Never have a disagreement no, ever. No, we, uh, we're like brothers, so we do... Yeah. No, no, we yeah. fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, we, we are. We're like brothers, so we, we bicker and stuff. But we have a very similar point of view of things, a similar sense of humor. So uh, we have a lot in common, and we have a lot of respect for each other. So. That helps. Most of the time. We try not to approach actors and have one of us go, do it sad, and the other one says, <laughs> and you do the opposite. Yeah.